Hi everyone, this is Faith here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be speaking to you about several items that I purchased from my favorite retailer, as you know, which is Aritzia. And before we get started, I just wanted to ask if you could please hit Sorry. that subscribe button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so the first item that I wanted to show you is a sweater and it, this is from the Wilfred line and this is called the Eva sweater and um, it's in the color called Rose Mist. And this is a really different sweater from the other wool sweaters. This has like a, an alpaca blend. So it's very, has, it looks almost like um, mohair, but it's alpaca and it's like really fluffy. So that's not really getting picked up on the camera. It's so warm. So I purchased this in a size small and uh, the price point on this is $188 but currently it is on sale for $149 and the care instructions state that this sweater should be hand washed in cold, dry flat or otherwise you can dry clean it. Okay guys, so this is what that Eva sweater looks like and the color is so beautiful. It's like the perfect blush pink color, perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm so excited that I will be able to wear this for Valentine's Day. And it has these two front patch pockets and who doesn't like pockets? I love pockets. Uh, the sweater has somewhat of a vintage retro feel to it, but I am A-OK -okay with that. There's like a V-neck and it's uh, buttons down fairly easily and I will probably leave it unbuttoned unless I'm really freezing cold and then in that case I'll just button it down but I feel like this really streamlined my look and it's a good substitute for a blazer on those you know casual days so uh, I love this sleeve it's so loose it's like a balloon sleeve and then it tapers again towards the bottom and the length is perfect I don't have to roll it up um, and uh, it covers my back really well and I don't know I just love it um, I think I saw a few youtubers purchase this in a different color like for example a light gray and I think there is one other color that's available. The color I originally wanted was like a amber color and I think that sold out so, um, but maybe next year if they come out with something similar, we'll see. So I've paired it with this uh, Dexter pant and a black top. Okay guys, so the next item that I wanted to show you is a jacket and this one is called the Wilfred Dujardin jacket and I purchased it in a size small and uh, it's in the color rose smoke so it's sort of like almost like a pink like this one except there's more grayish blue undertones to this so it's a little bit different unfortunately this one i think may have sold out but i will try to link something similar um this one is about 228 dollars but i believe it was uh currently the dujardin jackets are on sale for 175 so i would just check out aritzia's website and I believe this one is, the care instructions are dry clean only. Okay you guys, so this is what that uh, Dujardin jacket looks like. It's so long, uh, as you can see, it's going way past my knees, um, but it's above my ankles, so it's not quite, so I guess you could call it a mid-calf length on me, I'm petite, and it has a collar, and it has two buttons, but I feel like, the buttons look awkward when they are done up, so I tend not to do the buttons, but I mean, if it's on a chilly day, then of course you might want to do it. Um, there are pockets, but there the seam on the pockets are closed, so I didn't open those up. Um, and the sleeves are tapered and, well, I wouldn't say they're tapered actually. They're straight and they are sort of long, but that's okay because I feel like if you're wearing something underneath that's, um, on chilly days it will be uh, depending on if you're wearing long sleeve or short sleeve then this is perfect like you want something that's slightly longer so you stay warm so i like that it's okay uh so this is a cocoon collar there are slits there's like two slits um one on each side so it makes i guess walking easier because of the um midi length i guess so and it looks a little bit grayish on camera but i can tell you that it is very lavender pink 
um, mix of, of those two colors. So Okay, you guys, so the next item that I wanted to show you is also another Wilfred Dujardin jacket. And this, again, is in a size small. And I believe the color is Chasm. And um, again, the price point on this is $228, but I purchased it while they were on sale. I think the price was seven one seventy five. dollars Currently, I believe this one, you can special order the same exact color. So, um, but it will, a special order is something um, not, unlike a regular order. Uh, I would read the Aritzia website for details, but I believe that it ships a little bit later and it's not actually in stores, but um, you can get your hands on this as soon as it um, comes in uh, and it will be shipped to you as soon as that happens. So um, I think this is available on special order. And again, uh, it, the care instructions are dry clean only. And um, I really like this color. The camel color is something that I felt that I could wear and this is unlined. I forgot to mention that earlier and um, so it's sort of like an in-between uh, long length sweater and uh, I guess sort of like a jacket mix of the two so you can wear it either way. Okay you guys, so this is what that uh, second Dujardin jacket looks like. The length is extremely long. It goes past my knees, almost a mid calf and it has a cocoon collar which is very uh, unique to Aritzia, I think. And it has two buttons, which I usually do not do unless I'm really cold, because I think it looks a little bit mm, strange, so on me at least, but um, I, it, it depends. I'm a little bit curvy, so it, uh, it I find that it might look a little bit odd, um, especially given where the buttons are located. Uh, with somebody with a longer torso, it might fit them and frame them a bit better. Um, the, there are pockets, and but these are closed right now, the seam, so I haven't opened them up. And there's also slits on either side of this um, jacket, so that makes walking so much easier, given the length, uh, so it doesn't hinder walking. And uh, I love this color. Again, this is the color Chasm, and it's uh, very, I, I feel like it's very complementary to every skin tone, and complexion so I really like this it's a different kind of camel it's like sort of a lighter camel color so um, I think they had a darker version last season so and I was um, unsure about my size and things like that so this year I am pretty certain my size is like small so I'm just going to stick to that and um, given that it's only supposed to be dry cleaned, I think I will likely do that as well and uh, I think I made a good choice uh, in terms of fit and size. Okay you guys, so the next item that I wanted to show you is another jacket and this one is from the Babaton line and it's called the Kahlo Robe Style Jacket and it's in the color bone and I purchased a size small even though I believe an X small would fit me in the sleeves but I just wanted to go a size up uh, given how loose and um, the given the type of fabric there is so uh, and the price point on this is again like the Dujardin jackets is $228 um, however, I believe I purchased it during the sale, but currently it's not on sale anymore. So it's uh, the price is $228. So um, it would be personal preference to either wait for a sale or you could purchase it now. Uh, it comes in every year, I think. It's a reoccurring um, design. It's very versatile. It's a statement piece and it's a head turner like I will show you in a second what I mean by that um, it is so beautiful uh, the fabric is also very dense and um, you can just feel the quality element to this so let me just show you okay you guys so this is that Kahlo robe style jacket and as you can see the sleeves can be worn three quarters of the length um, buttoned up like this or you can undo them and wear them full sleeve. I think I will leave them at that because I'm a petite and I find that um, 
full sleeve tend to be a little bit too long on me, so I'm comfortable with this length. Uh, the There is a matching fabric tie belt to this, but I'm not going to likely tie it. I'm going to likely leave it loose like this. I believe the length is all the way to my ankles, so it's pretty long. There are slits on the side, so because of the length, I believe this makes it so much easier to walk, so it's versatile, nobody will trip over <laughs> their own feet, so um, the slits are sort of a necessary element to this, and it's a, it means it was it's a well thought out design. Uh, the fabric is, I haven't steamed this yet, so there are a few wrinkles, but not as many as one would think. Like the fabric is so dense that I imagine that if I hang this up, the, it will it will never wrinkle once it's steamed completely. So, um, as you can see, there are no buttons on this. It's just supposed to be wrapped, but I'm not going to wrap it because I feel like it will streamline my um, figure and I like that and it looks so beautiful and it's like a statement piece. This is not, it looks like it's white in the camera, but I can tell you that it's a little bit off-white. It's like a creamy white color with a hint of pink in it. I wouldn't even say pink, I would probably say like a, a blush color, um, but not even, like it's very, it's 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 like a off-white, that would be the best um, description for it, so it's really versatile I think, and it is a statement piece. I think you could wear this in the spring, and um, of course in the summer on chilly summer nights, so what a beautiful piece. I almost forgot to mention two important points for this. Uh, the first is the material is polyester, so it's machine washable in cold water, and I believe you can even tumble dry this on a low cycle. Otherwise, you can dry clean it. That's another option. And the other point was that there are pockets. Oh my goodness, who doesn't like pockets? I love pockets, so that gets me so excited, and these pockets are really deep, so. Okay guys, so the last item that I wanted to talk to you about is a sweater and this one's called the Mont Montpellier sweater and it is like a turtleneck style sweater. I purchased a size small. This is from the Wilfred line and I'm just gonna show you the label and this is one of their very popular sweaters. It is um, made of 100% merino wool and I believe you have to dry clean only. Um, this color is called modern brown, so it's like this really dark brown. Um, it shows up a little bit. Um, I got this color, and I believe the price point for Mont the Montpellier sweater is about $168. But I purchased this while it was on sale for half price. I think it was like $83.99, so it was ridiculously a great price. So I couldn't pass up on this. Um, I in the past I purchased a, a sort of a pale pink, pinkish color. And for that one, I purchased an X small, but I didn't know if I should purchase a small because I noticed that a lot of YouTubers like tend to size up and they purchase a small, so I didn't know. And I feel like for if you buy a small, then it goes like past your um, back and it's like the length is longer, but for an X small, it does not, it sits at your waist. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Okay guys, so this is what that Montpellier sweater looks like. As you can see, it's uh, the sleeves are fairly long. I feel like, but that's okay because it's tapered, so I can just pull the sleeves up and there's no harm done. And they sort of stay, so that they're pretty comfortable. And um, I think I mentioned this in my other video, but it sort of creates this like tapered V shape. So there's a lot of fabric on on the sleeves and on the shoulders and the neck is neckline is also like a turtleneck but it's loose so there's sort of like a that bulk created towards the top and then it tapers so um as you can see i've pulled this down but i believe it's supposed to sit at the waist and it's supposed to be loose like this um, there is a lot of fabric so perhaps an x small is better for me uh, but it depends. I mean, uh, if people like pulling their sweaters down sometimes, then this is like um, a longer length, like a small does this, but an X small will not do that. Like I, I believe it will just the maximum length that it will go is like right here. So 
um, you could pull it down much further up to there with like size uh, small so I think that's the only difference but in terms of um, whether or not I have a preference for the moment I I don't think I do I think either one works for me um, maybe next time I will go with a, a small size so we'll see I love the fact that the neck is loose and you can just doesn't feel like it's choking um, with as it is usually with turtlenecks and this is so easy to take on and pull on and pull off and um, with a person like me it's a bonus because I don't want my makeup sort of like um, coming off on my sweater that's like I I have to be so careful when I'm putting on and taking off my sweaters and like unbuttoned sort of blouses so that's like that's a bonus for me um, for turtlenecks like these so this color again is modern brown and I think it's really nice. It's like not your basic, you know, black wardrobe. You can um, pull different things with it. I could even wear like light brown pants with this. I have a pair of gelade pants in the color, I believe, Sand Island. And I think this would be, this what sweater would complement that. And it would be a really nice, you know, sort of a bronzy brown outfit, so. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.